Okay, so quickly in this episode, we are going to add three other indicator lamps to tell us which of the main lines are available anytime the main supply is available. Okay, so we want to know if all the three lines are available at a particular time or if some of the lines are not available. And for that arrangement, we only need three other indicating lights. We we'll need something like red for line one, something like this for line two, and then this for line three. So we are going to position them anywhere that will be convenient on the eight years board. So for this particular tutorial, we can keep them here. And what we are going to do is very simple. We don't need any other component again. All we need are wires that will connect from the inputs here, L1 to red, L2 to amber, and then L3 to green. That's all we are going to do. Okay, so first let's take from L1. L1 will go to red. L2 to amber. And then we take L3 to green. And then we arrange them nicely. Okay. So what we have to do next is to connect neutral to the other terminals on the lamp. connect it to one lamp and then we just loop to the other lamps. Imagine you have not been following that from the beginning and then you see this thing like this, so complex. It will be very difficult to make any sense out of this. But if you have been following us from the beginning, you'll realize that this is very, very simple. Step by step, you can get here easily. All right, so now we have successfully added our three indicating lights to the circuit. So these lights will tell us which of the phases from the main supply is available at every time. So for instance, if this is set to auto, and then the system is not working, it could be that the particular piece that we have wired for the control system is off. All right, so we are going to see how that actually works. Okay, so this is in automatic mode, and then all these lights tell us here that we have brown face on, we have black face on, we have gray face on. Okay, and then the main supply is actually giving output to the load. All right, so let's see what happens to this system if one line goes off. Okay, so you see that quickly, because it's in auto mode, quickly it will give signal to the generator to start so that we can get supply at the output. Now, this is what the indicators help us to know. So you come and then immediately you realize that we have power supply from the main side, but it is only two lines that are available. It is only L2 and L3 that are available. L1 is not available at the moment, so the system will not work. If the phase comes back and everything is all right, our control, the control system will work and then will transfer the main supply to the loop. All right, so thank you very much for staying till the end. Probably this will be the end for this series. Um, there is always something new to add, but for now, we are going to end this series here and then we'll continue with something else in the next video. Please, if you have learned something valuable from watching this series, share this video with all your friends. 
and then don't forget to subscribe in case you have not yet done that see you in the next video